My name is Sabrina Strickland. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Hospital for Special Surgery. So my specialty is sports medicine, and what that means is that I do knee and shoulder surgery. My focus within sports medicine is knee surgery, and specifically patellofemoral surgery, which involves a lot of cartilage surgery and ACL surgery. The bread and butter for orthopedic surgeons, the most common surgery we do is meniscal surgery, and so that's sort of the easiest thing I do. But a lot of patients have more complicated problems with their knees. So for example, patients who have been dislocating their patella for years, they've often been told that there isn't a surgical answer for them, and there actually is. So the patellofemoral joint is the front of the knee. So the patella is the small bone, it basically works as a pulley. So you pull on your quad, that pulls on your patella, and that pulls on your patellar tendon, and that's how you get your knee straight. Patellar instability is a condition where the patella slides out of the groove. The patella is a very small bone, and it sits in this groove in the front of the thigh bone. And when it slides out, sometimes it just perches a little bit to the side, and sometimes it comes all the way out and it gets stuck. And those patients have to go to the emergency room to get it popped back in. When this happens, it often causes damage to the cartilage on the back side of the kneecap, as well as to the lateral side of the femur bone. Patellofemoral instability can often be treated with a ligament reconstruction called an MPFL. And that involves reconstructing a ligament that goes from the inside part of the thigh bone to the inside part of the kneecap. It's two small incisions, and basically I take a donor tendon and reconstruct this ligament to make a new band or a new leash that holds the patella in place. Patellofemoral pain is a condition where patients localize the pain to the front of the knee. Often these patients come in complaining of pain with stairs or pain with lunges. Typically as we start by getting an MRI to see exactly what's going on, to see exactly how much cartilage wear is underneath the kneecap. In patients who just have a little bit of cartilage wear, we typically use gel injections. In more advanced cases, we talk about cartilage surgery or surgery to move the bone to take the pressure off the kneecap. And in extreme cases, we resurface the back of the kneecap in the front of the thigh bone, and that's a patellofemoral replacement. So many patients with patellofemoral pain need to have a combination of surgeries done at the same time. So many patients who've had, for example, patellar instability, we need to do two things. We need to fix their patellar instability with an MPFL reconstruction. Depending on whether or not they have a cartilage lesion, we have to repair the cartilage lesion at the same time. And depending on where that cartilage lesion is and depending on how they're lined up, in some cases we have to add the osteotomy. So some patients end up with all three in order to get their knee stable and pain-free. 2022 marks my 20th year. I finished my fellowship in sports medicine here at HSS in 2002. How I see the next 10 years, I'm gonna to continue to focus my research on cartilage transplants and patellofemoral surgery. I continue to find new and better ways to do the surgeries that I do.